What does it run approximately price for uh, price? This one was ten thousand. Oh First day on a new bike. What's happening, folks? We are in the backyard and we have a brand new bike. It is new bike day. Back there is my neglected BMX. Look at this thing. I'll show you this just to make some people sad at the absolute state of this bike. I stripped it of its working inner tube. So I'm gonna actually drop a little bit of a spoiler for the future. I'm letting it sit out here so I can do a restoration video on it. That's the actual plan of why I'm leaving it out here decrepitly. It will get attention in the future, I promise. But today is about this first off you can see the bike says air park bike co that is not the bike company that makes this bike so before i even bought a saran the whole point of me getting an electric bike i wanted to get an electric enduro mountain bike they're just really expensive they're all like uh like ten thousand dollars eight thousand there's some that are like in the five six thousand range but i like nice bikes so i ended up buying this for ten thousand dollars i know some of you are gonna be like that is the dumbest thing i ever heard and uh it is it is there's absolutely zero defense i have for that number i just uh I like the bike, so I bought it. I'm going to unbox it, but I'll go ahead and spoil the brand. Oh, we're gonna need a knife. Gotta bust out Old Faithful. So there's a few things that I was looking for when I was shopping for an e-bike. One, uh, I am a massive SRAM fanboy. I, I love SRAM. I, I don't even know what to say. I don't like Shimano, I love SRAM. I like their tech, I love how they try to make everything wireless. I don't even ride mountain bikes, but I do ride road bikes. This is my road bike. It is a specialized Tarmac SL7 shrammed up shram red uh i just like shram a lot i don't know what else to say so the first thing that i was looking for was shram dropped a new like motor system that integrates into their group sets for mountain bikes called shram powertrain so i wanted one of the new shram e-bikes that narrowed it down to four because there's only four that exist and the cleanest looking one called the propane econo 2 cf there's still almost no information about that bike i ordered it sight unseen and they said it was going to be a two-month wait so i ended up canceling that order it looks like an awesome bike i kind of wish i waited but i wanted something now found this bike shop air park bike Co. in uh, Scottsdale, Arizona. They had this bike for pretty cheap. So this thing retailed for $10,899. I think with tax, it would have been like almost basically $12,000, right? But I got this for uh, just shy of 10 k And I know what you're thinking, that is just an absurd price for a bicycle. I fully agree. I don't think, uh, I, I never saw myself spending more than like 2,000 bucks for a bike. Uh, that just seemed unheard of to me at uh, uh, pretty much any point in time before the last year or two. The story gets even weirder. The reason I had to go through this bike shop is because Nukeproof, their parent company just went bankrupt, I think. So the future of Nukeproof apparently is up in the air still, kind of. I'm pretty sure, I mean, I would assume they're going to stay around. Nukeproof has a pretty strong reputation for like winning enduro downhill races. So, I mean, they're like a beloved company and they make good stuff. I actually spend a lot of time researching and keeping up on the mountain bike world and the road bike world because it's just, that's where stuff is moving. Pretty much everything starts there and they trickle down to other types of bikes. Uh, and that's where the, the DDL money is. That's what me and my buddies call the dentist doctor lawyer money so those are the bikes that they buy therefore they're expensive so they want them to be good today i'm gonna see what the hype is all about anyways as i was saying nuke proof is what this bike is and it may not be around as a company this time next year which is kind of weird to think about i bought the bike i'm going to keep it but if something breaks hopefully i can still get it covered under warranty i don't know we'll find out maybe there'll be a journey with this bike either way enough talking i'm gonna put the camera down we're gonna actually unbox it i'm gonna show you how it looks put it together the box arrived kind of tattered up from Air Park Bike Co., but I mean, at least it's here in one piece, I think. I guess we'll find out when we get to really unboxing it. This is obviously the front wheel. Looks like this is just a random, uh, it's a super nice t-shirt. Look at that. You spend 10,000 bucks, you get a free t-shirt. Like the uh, dropout holder broke in transport. That's not good. We're just gonna go ahead and start shredding it open. This bike comes in two specs, Pro and RS. The RS is a little bit fancier of a spec. It has SRAM XL transmission. That one comes in GX. So there's basically no difference except one says uh, that uh, you have more money to waste, like myself as an idiot. Their Pro wheel set as opposed to their regular V2 wheel set. White frame as opposed to purple. Big cassette. Looks good. Code RSC brakes. Those are the same brakes I had on my YT Capra. I love them. They have incredible stopping power. The knife through some of this bubble wrap. I know it gives you guys anxiety the way I unbox stuff. Trust me, I'm a professional. Nuke proof saddle looks very nice. I may swap this out. I'm gonna try it out first. Reverb axis seat post, 170 millimeter drop. Vivid ultimate rear shock. This one just came out not too long ago, I think. It's got a cup holder, front end assembled. So one of the main things I love about these strand bikes, tidiness of the front end, just two cables, nothing else, no dropper cable, no mechanical gear cable, something subtle, but I just am a big fan of not having a bunch of cables. Now this is uh, this is a very fat top tube. <laughs> it's very big, it's large, the down tube is large too. There's no denying that this bike is big. It is just a big girthy bike. But for everything I saw, all the videos of people who wrote it, they said it rides amazing. So we will reserve judgment till we uh, ride it. Hopefully we can, <laughs> hopefully 
me some juice in the battery. Let's actually take a look. Okay, so we hold the power button to turn it on. There's a SRAM logo. We got 52%. That's enough for us to give it a test ride at least. Slide in this front wheel. Front wheel is super nice. I love the polish hub. Big SRAM rotor on the front. I'm gonna drop it in. All right, gotta love a simple installation. All right, and we're done. Let's go ahead and flip it over. Wow. It's a big boy. Okay, well shout out to Air Park Bike Co. where I bought this bike. This is not sponsored by them in any way. 50 pound bike, first time. Let's give it a spin. All right, folks, we got the bike fully assembled and we are out here in downtown LA. Everything is totally buttoned up, suspension tuned to my weight, brakes dialed in. The funniest part is that I have to wear my Suron helmet because I don't have like a downhill mountain bike helmet or something, anything, a trail helmet even. So we're gonna use this. It's also the perfect angle to film, I think, so it should work out just fine. Uh, but we're gonna be giving this thing a spin. We have it set up on tubeless. So we're gonna see how that goes. Last time I was running tubeless, it was not uh, that good of a time. Take a look at this bike in the sun, man. It just looks good. It looks way better than I ever thought it would in person. I am in love with it already. So next up, of course, we gotta see how it rides. To get this thing going, you have to hold this button and then give it a second. Okay, we didn't hold it long enough. Hold it for about a second. Tram logo pops up and it takes a minute to boot up, but then we get going and we're off. There's the same RV that's always here in the same truck that's uh, been here forever. There must not be any parking rules on the street because that truck has been here for like, I don't know, 10 months. We are in rally mode. Look at this, what the, what is going on here? Uh, that's creepy. There's probably people in that van as we speak. I'm gonna go ahead, keep going. So there's a couple things I noticed right off the gate. Uh, first off, the auto shift is super cool. I actually, I like it a lot, even though I've only really tested it like around the neighborhood and stuff. I'm gonna try and cut in front of these people. There's definitely a Kings game going on. Let's see if we can get through here. Yeah, so, I mean, there's so many things I wanna talk about about this bike that I truly don't even know where to start. First off, this is not my first time actually riding it. This is my second time. I rode around my neighborhood for about an hour last night. And I just wanted to keep going, man. I just wanted to ride literally nonstop. It is so much fun. I had a, I had the same amount of fun when I had my Enduro, the YT, but you know, everything when it's electric is just better. I don't really know how to describe it. Also, look, there goes the Hummer. The electric Hummer, look, these kind of match. <laughs> look at the electric, nuke proof, electric white Hummer. Yeah, last time I came out here was to do a video for the Ride One Up e-bike that I also love. I love that bike a lot. They gifted that to me. I didn't buy it, but I still really enjoy it. I'll probably be doing some videos on that as well. But I want to tell a quick story right quick. So before I even bought a Suron, which is like the thing that really took my channel to another level two years ago now. I want to say that was two years ago, wasn't it? I was on the fence about it for a really long time. And I started off looking, look at this. Oh, we're gonna just avoid all this glass. <laughs> it's just uh, most normal downtown LA site fresh too. This must've just happened. Crazy. Stable center, inaccessible and it's packed. Gotta get around this chaos. I was hoping to shred through here a little bit, but let's just go ahead and start mobbing through. So I don't know if you guys can hear that little, whoop. that's the SRAM axis. That's the same sound that it's always had, but the auto shift is just doing its thing as I'm pedaling on flat ground. Clearly it's designed for trail usage. That's the first thing I kind of figured when I took it for a spin, because when you're riding it on flat, it, it just totally has a mind of its own. It'll shift you, it kind of shifts you like all over the place. Some stairs right here. Can I stop you? Now things like the auto shift and the coast shift, that wasn't exactly even something I was looking for. I just wanted something with a clean cockpit with only two wires. I, I don't know why, that's a, that's a huge pet peeve of mine when there's a bunch of wires coming out of a, a front end. And I wanted it to have decent range and not be crazy heavy. Now, one thing that has not changed is these bikes are still heavy. This is about 50 pounds, but that is less than half of the Suron and I can easily lift this thing. If you were not in great shape or lacked muscle, it'd probably be a little bit more difficult, but for me, like it's, it's super easy to lift. One thing I was trying that I cannot do though, is manual it, that's gonna take some work it took me a minute to figure out how to manual the yt enduro too so i'm sure it's just a matter of finding the balance point and then uh going from there this place is so sewed up right now though we kind of got to get out of here the main thing i am super in love with though is that i'm pedaling again dude i'm pedaling again i know that probably sounds like uh well duh like i mean there's plenty of e-bikes you can pedal but I wasn't really interested in any of the commuter style e-bikes. I know there's other electric mountain bikes that have been around forever too, but something about this whole setup and the fact that it, SRAM was behind it, it just, it enticed me to no end. I'm just, I'll go ahead and say it. I'm a huge SRAM fanboy. When they put their name on something that's a big project, I tend to 
to take notice. This is a perfect example of that. It's just, it's all the things I like about SRAM. It's simplicity, the way they designed the motor and the shifting, they kind of like work together. I think it's, it's very novel. Is this the best e-bike? I don't know, probably not. I mean, I don't know really much about electric mountain bikes. I kind of exited that realm. But then when I saw these SRAM e-bikes, I really took notice. I was like, oh, okay, maybe I'll give it another shot or like give it a shot in the first place. I had that Ride One Up XC style bike, but it wasn't really like, like a mountain bike. It, it was it was really like a commuter bike with a front suspension, but it did have the same Bros motor. Bros A, I don't know how you say it. It feels about the same pedaling wise as like, uh, you know, how like quote unquote natural it feels. One thing I like is you could just pop into a heavier gear and just start going. Oh, I can bunny hop this. Oh my God, dude, I, I think I, I found the bike for me. It's taking some time, but I found the bike for me, for sure. For sure, I can still get a little workout in. Probably do triple the range I usually do in jump stuff. That's my main problem with the Suron. You can jump it if you have like dirt jumps, like actual huge jumps. For me, I just like bunny hopping little things and jumping around when I'm riding in the streets. Simple as that, so this is kind of, this is the ultimate machine for that. But I do want to point out, I will take it to some dirt. I know a lot of people are probably like, what, this guy really got this electric enduro mountain bike to ride it around downtown LA? I mean, it's just today. It's my first day riding it. It is like, I got here about 30 minutes before sunset. We're just kind of chilling. I'm getting a feel for the bike and uh, understanding what it can what it can do. I mean, I'm pretty, it's pretty self-explanatory what it can't do. There's no throttle or anything like that. Well, there's a SRAM app where you can, by the way, none of this is sponsored. I don't work with SRAM or this company or anything like that. And from here, you can change the amount of power that the motor gives out. I have it, at, it goes up to 680. I feel like when it's maxed out, it kind of gives you a little too much like shove. I wasn't really a fan of that, so I turned it down to about 600 watts. You could also go down to 550. This is in rally mode, which is the, like the high power mode. And you can also change how much assist it's giving you in the first place. I get, I have it to 50. Kind of set up to like be in the stronger mode, but still give you decent range. And then the range setting, I have everything halfway. I mean, so you can do that. You could also change how sensitive the auto shift is. I have it all the way down to where I kind of have to give it a little bit more gas on the pedals because it tended to give, it tended to put me in like in a more spinny gear, even just riding around on flat. You know, obviously I think it's, it's assuming that I'm on like a trail with like obstacles in front of me or about to take a hill so it puts you in like a spinny gear off the bat obviously i don't think they're assuming anyone's gonna be pedaling around the city like i am uh so there's that you can also change the buttons uh, other than that this button dropper post this one if you hold it it goes into walk mode so it kind of gives the, the motor a little bit of gas you can feel it as you're pushing it along you have to keep it held though once you let go you feel it just kind of going back to normal and then these buttons over here for shifting SRAM code rsc brakes incredible stopping power i feel super confident with these brakes all right, we at least got to hit like some stairs or something while we're out here, so let's find that. I feel very confident in these tires too, Continental downhill case and tires. I say the biggest risk out here is running over glass. <laughs> it's just glass and, and needles. <laughs> that's, that's, that's probably literally the two biggest risks out here, so yeah, I think we'll, uh, we will be fine uh, with uh, not getting a flat. Oh, this road's closed off. White wall's looking good, player. Thank you, baby. Hell yeah. We can get up here and fit them and play around. It is basically sunset so we're short on time but we can at least do something in here oh they got it shut from this side actually oh a little pedal strike there not on the new bike please thank you all right we do got to figure out wheelies or manuals that is wheelies too i could probably figure out how to wheelie this bike much quicker than the suron because it's like a pedal bike i was able to wheelie like the se and whatnot so let's go ahead and roll through here this is the thing you can do pick the bike up take it upstairs you gotta see how it feels on some sets then the day it's still an enduro bike it just has a motor so this should feel nice and buttery oh my god it feels incredible oh dude it's just too easy oh it's too easy it feels too good it feels a little too good it should not be that nimble for how much power this thing's able to put down if you want to start going all right, off we go. Further through the city, there's cops right there. Also, another benefit is no one's going to bat an eye on me pedaling on the sidewalk with this thing. With the Suron, it's like, yeah, it's pretty crazy to be doing that. But on this, it's like, you know, this is much more controlled, slower, less devastating in the case of an accident, which I never get in, right? I don't get in accidents. This is how I look. Pretty cool, right? You see me? All right, where should we go from here? I want to, like, pedal up a hill or something. Every time you hear that little... I don't know if you can hear it in the camera, but uh, that is the gear shifting, and they do be shifting. Look, homie got the moped on the sidewalk. That means I'm good to go, right? <laughs> 
I think for riding in the city though, auto shift is a complete, just turn it off. If uh, for any reason you end up taking this bike and riding in the city like I am, there's no reason to do that. You could buy literally any other inexpensive commuter bike and it'll serve the same purpose, but I think I'm gonna turn it off. It's just a little, uh, we got some speed. You know what I wanna do? I wanna go bomb lower grand. Let's try and make our way over there. Auto shifting. I mean, it is kind of nice not, I guess, having to worry about shifting while you're doing stuff like that, like maneuvering between cars. But like I said, this is, oh, looks like there's a protest today. The auto shift is a non, is not something I am talking about or the co-shift or any of that, even though it's one of the main features of the system because I'm not riding in dirt. <laughs> like that was all designed for riding on trails, getting up a hill so you can go back down, like stuff like that. So I'm not doing any of that. So it doesn't really apply to what I'm doing. We are about to go up this hill that would absolutely leave me toasted if I did it on uh, just about anything else besides the Suron, of course, so. Let's see how that fares. Let's see how it auto shifts us going up. We're able to sneak a cheeky bunny hop right there. That was nice. All right, uphill we go. This is the mellow uphill. It's probably like a 5% grade. Once we turn right, it turns into like a 12, 13% grade. I'm also gonna be chilling. I'm gonna try it without like absolutely mashing, trying to get up. I'm gonna go ahead and put the seat up and just chill. We're in rally mode, like I said, it's about halfway. Yeah, chilling. We're not going fast by any means, but we're making it up the hill. Also gotta mention that it is, uh, I have the fast mode, which is what I'm in, set to half. Look at this, wait, what the hell? Look at how LAPD is staged for this protest. Oh, this must've been a big deal. Uh, whoa. They're all in the cars, ready to go. Whoa. Okay, well, must have been a bigger deal than I thought. Hey. Wow. <laughs> okay, well, whatever is going on over there, uh, it looks like they were ready. I didn't even know something like that was going on. Dang, I miss being a kid. <laughs> That's about all you can say about that. So if you start just getting after it, it does put you in a stiff gear quickly, very quickly, which is nice. And it drops you out of that gear very quickly as well. Let's see if we can use rally mode to rally our way up some stairs, pedaling. These stairs are pretty mellow, so we should be able to get up. And yeah, we gotta go into low gear. Oh, I think we need to stand up on it maybe. Oh yeah. Oh, dude. Pretty good, huh? First day on a new bike. All right, I think we're gonna go straight into the Grand Hill Bomb. Let's see if we even get a green. If we don't, then uh, we're gonna test these code RSC brakes. Put it simply, it looks like we're not gonna get a green. Yeah, we're definitely not gonna get a green. We're just gonna bang it right. Oh, this bike is something else, bro. That guy almost got hit. Whoa, you just, yikes. Dude, there's cops everywhere. Now it makes a little bit more sense, I guess. They're super staged up. Dude, I'm having so much fun on this bike, like I don't even wanna stop riding. <laughs> I just wanna be on this all day. Oh, chill out, brother. He did the turn, he did the turn and start facing me. That's when you know, get too close, it's like, uh, it's like getting too, too close to a pit bull. They're bound to attack. We were talking about, what we were talking about earlier. Yeah. Yeah. You can hide it. Oh, I was about to say, yeah. That's an awesome. Ooh, that was a big drop. I think I may have tapped the motor or something right there. I don't know what I hit on that second drop. That one was kind of hefty. Badass. How, what is the speed they can go? What does it run approximately? Price? Oh, uh, price? This one was 10,000. Oh, that's, that, yo, bro, that's nice. <laughs> Take care. Hey, yeah. thanks, man. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> one of the few times I will say the actual price of what my bike is because uh, they seem like very nice people. All right, we got a little bit of action in. That was fun. Dude, I am just, I am just scratching the limit of what can be done with this bike. 
By the way, I know I got some Serrano lovers in here. That bike is going nowhere. I will continue to own it and I will ride it with Dan the Man and stuff. I think this is my new baby, dude. Oh my God. I've been missing out my entire, these last two years. All I had to do was buy one and I just didn't. This is a set I want to make it up right here. Let's see if it's possible. Gotta get around some traffic. Let's let this BMW pass too. And we're gonna drop a seat, gear it down and just start cranking up. Oh, 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 we almost had it, dude. We slipped out at the very last part. Dang it. I think if I had a little bit better cadence and I was in the, you know, I had rally set up all the way to the top, would have had that with ease. Okay. We're learning, folks. Oh, I miss pedaling and going fast. Yes, yes. I'm in heaven, I'm in heaven. I am in heaven, I found my bike. The bike that is truly for me. And it is this, the Nuke Proof Megawatt with SRAM powertrain, not sponsored. Not hashtag ad, you know it sounds like it. We're back at the scene of the crime. If you know, you know, but just know that I'm not going down those stairs ever again most likely oh maybe never say never right wow i'm having way too much fun right now <laughs> i just fell in the city and just fooling off the best part is after i do something like that like a quick maneuver and i go back to sit down and pedal it's just seamless like it puts me in the perfect groove to just get back to sitting and get into the next wherever i'm going I think I get it now. I get why these bikes are, are expensive. Like the electric mountain bikes are, they, they're such a price premium over just about everything else. It's because it's like all the cool benefits of an e-bike, but with components that you can trust won't break on you if you do dumb stuff like I do. I think that's the, the point, right? Beautiful day out here in downtown. No, we're about to wrap it up. Definitely gonna start getting out earlier to ride this bike longer. It is just too good. A good shinner will just tear your shin right open. I probably got to invest in some uh, some leg protection. More broken glass. Go figure. Downtown LA. It's going to take some time to get used to all the free ride potential that this thing has. But uh, day one, starting to get a pretty good feel for it already. This is the closest thing to the BMX electric dream bike that I've had this whole time. But we just have not gotten close to having exist yet because it's just just not a thing so lively night out here in downtown it's saturday day after black friday everybody's just out and about love it kind of crazy how fast you can go on the flat ground with this too definitely enough to get you in some trouble but the thing is the bike feels so good that it doesn't feel sketchy like it's quiet and more low key That's why he's king of the jungle. than the Suron. So I can like creep through places like this where before I, people would have been like, what the heck is that guy doing? Happy holidays. Folks, I cannot really explain how over the moon I am with this bike. It is just, it's, it's everything I hoped it would be and a little bit more. As crazy as that sounds. And as much as I sound like a salesperson, I am not selling these bikes. I wish I would look at the lineup right here. Dang. Just come out here and they're all smelling good. I am, I am hungry. What's even going on right here? People watching something, Trevor Noah? I don't know. Okay, so I forgot to start. It says we're at 17 minutes ridden with two and a half miles traveled. That is incorrect. We've definitely gone at least three and a half and we burned 10% of the battery. We have been in the max mode the whole time. So, I mean, ultimately I'm just happy that I did opt for the bigger battery version they also came in a 630 watt hour battery which is about 100 less 90 less something like that so the weight difference was like a pound and a half lighter you guys know i'm a weight weenie i love my lightweight stuff but this bike really doesn't offer any lightweight things it has the downhill tires it's big it's got the big battery big motor what's going on can look it up this oh, we're pushing our luck with these we're pushing our luck with those. We gotta do one more though, you know, why not? <laughs> we are tubeless, so I don't know if uh, if we had an inner tube, if that would be possible, but well, we just did that, so. Alrighty. Oh, <laughs> we got him dancing, oh no. Sorry, bud. At the beginning of the ride, I was definitely on the fence about the auto shift. 
at the end now i'm pretty sold it's cool even for just getting around the city it's pretty cool you don't ever think about shifting and it's always putting you in the perfect cadence perfect gear uh maybe not everyone's a fan but uh i still reserve final judgment for when i try in like an actual downhill setting what's going on over here um this bike is just it's so fun it's so fun i gotta start learning the basics tomorrow bunny hops uh manuals wheelies 360 i don't know what's actually possible on a 50 pound e-bike but best believe i'm gonna find out to the best of my abilities all right there's cops everywhere out here in downtown tonight there's a, a hockey game but there's a lot of people here i feel like there's two events going on i don't know we got to start making our way out of here though it's getting dark Okay, I just I did a stoppy and the button came off for the SRAM pod. Come on, SRAM. We can't be that loose, can we? Right off the brand new. That's okay. Maybe we gotta get some super glue on there. It feels very uh feels loose. <laughs> That's the best way I can put it. Does not feel comfortably in there still. It's just a little uh, proactive sometimes. It'll start just kicking you into a gear when it's not really sure what you want to do. Obviously, you can't see where I'm going or what I'm going to do next. You can't read my mind, so still, uh, that's still a little strange, but hey, I wasn't able to get out in the dirt today, but next best place, the active city. It's always fun to ride out here. We're on 87% battery right now. I feel like I could have gone just about anywhere right now and had a great time. This bike is just like, it's unlimiting. Same way I feel when I first got the Suron. It's like, it's just opening up a new world of, uh, stuff to do honestly when i bought the Suron, i wasn't even sure if i was going to keep it like i was still on the fence of it it turned out to be two years of my best content ever so maybe we're getting a second win with this for me that's all this is about man it's just trying new stuff every year make a big purchase try something new look at these cats <laughs> those things are so sketch but hey more power to you leave in the comments what do you think is crazier that or a Suron to ride around with no helmet which one would you rather pick you had to pick one. What's it gonna be? I'd never see kids on those with helmets. It's kind of trippy. Like, why not? It's almost like you're not cool if you're riding out with a helmet. Oh, holy crap. Okay. <laughs> I started pedaling and the motor just yanked me. All right, first day on the EMTB. Astounding. That's all I could say. So much fun. <coughs> Tons of fun. More videos on it coming soon. Uh, that's it. Best purchase I've made this year. It's at the end of the year too. So yeah, <laughs> thanks for watching. See you guys soon. Peace.